this strategy, I believe, is creative, necessary, and now it is here in Baltimore. Only in cities like Baltimore would the unveiling of a new vehicle used by the ATF be such a big deal. The mobile van provides for the examination of shell casings and bullets at the scene of shootings and can deliver results within four hours. If you're taking a gun out into the streets and resolving your petty conflicts with firearm violence, that's something you need to worry about because it's going to connect the ballistic evidence that we recover from scenes. It's going to connect that ballistic evidence to our known bad guys and it's going to do so in record time. Baltimore's recent pace of violence is often referred to as historic, but the overall rate of gun violence was far higher in the 1990s. In 1993, the rate of total shootings, fatal and non-fatal, was 340 per 100,000 people. This year, at the current pace, the rate of shootings is 145 per 100,000 people. The calculation takes into account the larger city population in 1993. Mayor Catherine Pugh, the latest mayor to grapple with crime reduction strategies, had to ask for federal help. So instead of an offender being arrested in possession of a firearm and being released before we can ever figure out what else that firearm or that person has done, we'll have that, we'll have that information, that lead in hand, before they even have the opportunity to make bail. The F ATF will keep that van here in Baltimore for about a month. The ATF keeps a national database of uh, ballistic evidence. And, of course, the information that they gather at scenes here with that van will be faster to compare to that as well. Reporting live tonight from City Hall, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News. All right, Jane, thank you.